My name is Eric Wielander and welcome to my channel all about apps and gear in the Apple ecosystem. Today we're going to look at the Peak Design Everyday Backpack and how it might fit into your everyday commute. So a couple of weeks ago I shot a what's in my bag video that shows what I've been taking in my latest backpack, the Peak Design Everyday Backpack. So there's a link up there in a card if you want to check that video out. Since that video I've taken this bag on two different airplane trips and then many more days as my everyday commute backpack. So, so I wanted to wrap all of that perspective up into a review talking about this bag from the perspective of an everyday commuter. So you might have heard of Peak Design. They're known for making very classy uh, camera bags that don't really look like camera bags. And uh, this backpack is no exception to that. But like a lot of camera bags, it comes with these great Velcro dividers uh, that you can use to section off the backpack into different uh, parts that fit whatever you want to carry in it. So even if you're not trying to carry a lot of camera gear, the flexibility of this style of bag can be very handy. Uh, Peak Design as well has also done a lot to um, innovate on their uh, bag dividers. They have these like sort of foldable flaps that allow you to even adjust it further and give you more compartments or different ways to divide the bag without having to redo the Velcro. One of the most unique and striking noticeable things about this backpack right off the bat is that there's these two flaps on either side that fold down um, and that makes it very easy to load the bag with all the stuff you want it also makes it easy to get to stuff that's sort of inside or in the middle of your backpack because of the dividers you can sort of open up the side door and then get into you know that lower or middle level of your gear and and get something out but the disadvantage is because there's two of those flaps on either side of the bag it's sometimes difficult to remember which side you put an item in. So you'll end up opening one and realizing, oh wait, it's on the other side of the pocket. Um, I'd love to see maybe some way they could make this bag look a little different on either side to maybe help with that. So another unique trait of Peak Design bags is the top flap where they have this sort of metal uh, clasp that makes it very easy to get in and out of the bag. Um, I've had other backpacks with top flaps and different latch systems that are a lot more cumbersome and slow to get into, this one makes it very quick to get in and out of that top compartment. So as far as laptop capacity, if you're doing an everyday commute, you're probably wanting to carry either a large tablet or laptop with you. Um, I can easily fit a 15 inch Apple MacBook Pro. There's also a second slot in there to put say a tablet, I put my 9.7 inch iPad in there. If you take your iPad out though, if you're needing to carry two laptops for whatever reason, um, um, you can fit two 15 inch MacBook Pros in the pocket, but it's gonna be pretty tight, but it's good to know that you have that option if you need it. So in that same laptop pocket, there's also a small uh, padded pocket that's great to put important items like maybe a boarding pass or a passport, but it's even large enough that I can also fit my Kindle if I'm carrying that with me. And there's also another small pocket to carry little things in the, in the front area of the bag. It's sort of enclosed by a magnet, which is pretty cool. Another great feature is that the backpack straps are super easy to adjust. I found on other backpacks, you end up just kind of setting those and forgetting it just because it's such a pain to change those. Um, but the way they've designed these ones uh, is different than a lot of other backpacks. And once you get the hang of it, um, I find myself adjusting the straps sometimes every day just to make sure I have the right fit and it feels comfortable over my jacket or depending on what I'm carrying that day. The straps aren't super cushy, but I think they have enough cushion for everyday use. I'm pretty satisfied with them. There's also a uh, sternum strap if you like those for carrying something really heavy. Another great feature is that the side pockets are very sturdy. So you can easily put a water bottle or a coffee mug, um, an umbrella, or even a small tripod in there and know that it's got a lot less chance of falling out than some other backpacks I've had. Those side pockets can be kind of flimsy and then you know a water bottle in there can easily go flying. Uh, it's really nice to have not only one, but two of those side pockets and know that they're really sturdy and are gonna hold whatever you put in there. On the back of this bag, sort of underneath, you can pull out these two straps that hook around and you know, I guess they allow you to 
secure some bigger item to the back of your backpack if you're say riding a bike um, you can carry something home with those kind of strapping that item to the backpack but it seems a little bit uh, precarious to me and not something I'm used to using I would way rather have that uh, spot be taken up by a front pocket that I could just put extra stuff in rather than this weird strap system but uh, maybe you'd like it, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you're a diehard of that kind of a system. There's also some great anti-theft zippers given that you're probably gonna be carrying some valuable stuff in this bag. Basically the fabric lanyards that kind of come off of the zippers, they can loop around these more secure loops on the bag. And yeah, it's not a foolproof system. Someone could slit that open with a knife probably, but it's gonna be kind of difficult to do that and it also makes it you know, um, impossible Possible for them to sort of slip open the zipper uh, just with a sleight of hand or something. So you can tell the Peak Design has thought a lot about the ergonomics of the bag and just how it's used. The top handle is really great to grab and very easy and of course something you use all the time on a bag like this. It's also really nice that this bag is luggage mountable. Um, to not have to carry a heavy backpack through the airport and be able to put it on top of luggage, I found that super nice for traveling. So in conclusion, I think this bag is really great. If you have a lot of tech gear, you want to be taking from point A to point B, say into the office. Uh, especially great if you have a lot of dongles, a lot of cables that you like to have on the ready with you at all times along with your normal gear. Um, this bag is not great though if you still have a lot of paper that you need to deal with and carry. Uh, there aren't many places to put the paper so um, hopefully you have other ways. I've used a plastic folder that I put in the laptop compartment and that works for a little bit of paper but um, you'll need other ways to carry that if that's an important part of your life. One of the big advantages I've found of this bag specifically is being able to have my camera with me um, wherever I go and to know that the camera is well padded and safe and not just thrown in the open part of some other bag. That said, if you're looking at this bag as a solution for maybe going on vacation and taking a bag out with you during the day uh, where you have your camera and you're always grabbing the camera out of the bag to take some photos and then putting it back, um, that I don't think would be a very ideal solution. I tried using it a few times where I would carry you know, the camera and get it out and just the way the side flaps work and stuff, it's not a very quick access system. I think you should probably look at either a sling or some of Peak Design's other things where you can like clip the camera to your backpack strap or belt or whatever um, as far as getting quick access to a camera on the go. The other disadvantage that I think you, you should know about is there's a little bit of a learning curve if you're coming from more of a normal backpack or messenger bag setup. Don't be too disappointed if you can't fit as much as you would think you could fit um, in the first few times packing it. It takes a little bit of trial and error to figure out where you want to put the dividers and um, you know just all the details of what you think would fit in each of the different pockets. But that said, I think it's a really great quality backpack. There's great attention to design and detail all over it. And I think overall, it's a really great value that I'd highly recommend if you're looking, to, again, to take a lot of electronics with you on your day-to-day -day commute. Thanks so much for watching this video and let me know in the comments below if you've bought the Peak Design bag or you're looking to buy it, have any questions. Um, love to start discussions about maybe details I missed or forgot to cover in this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more content about apps and gear in the Apple ecosystem and I'll see you in the next one.